Hey friends, it's Tracy from Hall of Fame Moms .com, and I'm fighting a cold, but um, I thought I would videotape this um, um, project that I'm going to do um, and just show it in case somebody else needs it. Um, <clears throat> so I grow milkweed um, to attract monarchs to our yard to lay their eggs, and then I uh, collect the eggs um, that I can find usually and bring them inside so they have a better chance to survive and we can uh, I can enjoy watching that process and um, one of my caterpillars did not do a very good job of um, of getting itself attached to the mesh laundry hamper that I use <clears throat> I'll show you you can get you can get these at Walmart for like seven dollars and change um, and then I, I keep them upright like this. And um, this is my second year doing this this way. Um, I have raised caterpillars before, but I've just really had um, a bunch I've been able to do the last uh, couple years, this year and last year. So I don't know if you can see, see those little white shells in there. Those are, those are where um, the uh, butterflies have hatched, or e-closed is the word, I guess. So... So one of my, um, the, the last one I have right now, I, I haven't been collecting eggs um, this week, but, so this guy fell off. Um, actually, I don't think he, it was, this wasn't even all the way hardened yet. So I, I think, yeah, I think he fell off before he was all getting hard. Um, but if I, I had another one fall too, and that one didn't survive. But anyways, this one, it's, I can see he's, he's uh, changing see the um, you can see the orange and black in there so hopefully hopefully he's okay and um, I asked in the group that I'm in on Facebook what you know will he be okay if he opens up um, my glasses reflect the light on the screen so I'm gonna take them off for now um, I asked the group that I'm in would he you know be okay if I left him on his side you know cuz he's when he comes out of his thing, his chrysalis, and I was told that he will not survive and that I need to um, tie a string around the hard stick-like thing that's sticking out of the top of him. Um, she called it a nub, I think, and um, then I need to attach the uh, chrysalis to the mesh so it's hanging because he needs to, um, when they come out, their wings are folded up. And um, I believe I've read that, or I believe I've heard or read that there's fluid in their body, and they they need that fluid to they pump it with their wings. So, however, all that comes out. So um, I've never done this before, but I thought if it's successful, I'll share it. So let's see here. I think what I'll do is uh, I'll tie a loop first. I think I'll do it this way. Okay, so the problem I'm seeing is is that the the thread wants to come off towards the end there. Okay, so it's it's attached. I just don't know how well it's going to stay.
Okay, so then I'm going to attach this to the mesh and um, I'll hope that it works out. Okay. Well, let's see. I think, uh, so the thread keeps wanting to split on me. So the thread, <clears throat> excuse my scratchy voice, the thread is not cooperating. Um, okay, so I'm going to bring in this. Right, so the, the hamper has these loops on it. I just pull one in through the zippered compartment and I'm going to tie this on to it. Okay, so you can see what I did there. I tied it on this loop. Okay. Okay, so if <clears throat> if the uh, butterfly makes it, then you'll know because I will post this video. If it does, if he doesn't survive, um, I probably will not post it. So here's hoping. Thanks for watching.